What are we making today, Andrea? My famous chickpea curry, of course. It's going to be famous now. <laughs> <laughs> I think we did one of these videos before. Didn't we? See, I'm holding the onion. That's why I don't chop my fingers off. My brother taught me that. I need to so we've done this dish before, the chickpea curry, but what makes this unique and special is, you're looking at her. <laughs> We're in Hollywood now, sharing the gift of vegan health with our friends in Hollywood, California, because that's what you do when you make cool discoveries that helps in some way or another. You share it. You don't be selfish with it. Selfish, bad. Especially sharing. when you're cooking for vegan. Especially when you're cooking for vegan. And you know what else is special about this particular video show? Is, his dog, his dog beaner. I would have hopped on the bandwagon, but it was about dog beaning, so. Yeah, the chef has such a small role. Red peppers. Here. Improvised cutting board. The genius that is the chef Andrea Noble. What kind? Of, what kind of potato is that? They're little golden potatoes, mm. and they're really good as a nice, rich flavor to the curry, and some substance, a carbohydrate, healthy one. So, yeah. What's cooking without bit. wine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's cooking without dog beans? Dog beans. Oh. That's the ginger, right? Oh. Yes, it is. It's ginger. <laughs> Sorry. Wasn't, wasn't she that gorgeous redhead on that one show? Yeah, my idol. She's like the redheaded Mae West. <laughs> I love her. Explain to us what you're doing with that lemon. I'm softening up the, all the pulp inside and get it all nice and juicy so I can juice it. Nice. Mmm. So juicy. Da! Da! How to juice a lemon. The cheap way. Just don't go too far with that dagger, you might need stitches. Yeah, usually you should use a fork. A pro can use any tool she would like. Yeah, I like, the, I like my tools. She likes her tools. That's why we like Tom. <coughs> oh! Sorry. Oh! Burn! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so here are all our ingredients, all are ready to go. Spinach, garbanzo beans of course, some cashews, God, these are so good. We're going to saute these first as ginger and uh, onion. You can do garlic if you want, but I decided not to this time. Potatoes and red peppers. Curry powder, lemon juice is essential. This is like the number one maker of this dish. You have to have at least two lemons worth of lemon juice. And some coconut oil. And we're going to get cracking. Got some coconut oil in the pan. Put some ginger in there now. Haven't really measured this stuff out. It's more of a... You want to do the ginger first because it takes a little longer for it to get the, you know, to saute. It's thicker. Could you give approximately how much ginger you used? I used about a thumb, you know, a little thumb. And about how much onion did you use? Uh, one onion, chopped. Nice. Thank you for asking. I always forget to say that. Because <laughs> you're a pro. Anything else? Bleh, anything I'm else on. at this stage? Um, no, we're, right now we're just going to saute this on low, medium heat. We don't want to burn it, so we want to keep the flame pretty low. Okay. And then we'll let that saute a little bit for maybe five minutes or something, and then we'll just add the onions and let that saute a little bit more. And then we'll add the curry. Perfecto. Mm, that smells so good. Mm. Oh. Ooh, uh, use onions in any dish. You want to cut it, slice it, chop it, whatever you're going to do with it, and then let it sit out for a couple of minutes. You get so close to that. Um, that way, the health properties can start to work. You know, if you chop it and then cook it right away, you're not going to get all the health properties. Phytochemicals need to be aerated a little bit before they can be at their most potent. So um, always do that, no matter what you're doing with onions. Just a little tip. Okay, I work with her, and I did not even know that. So you really should pay attention, take notes, watch her videos, because you never know what you're going to learn. Oh, and always use purple onions. They're stronger, and they're just the most potent. So you know, for, for a dish like this, you want to use purple onions. That I already knew, but the other thing I didn't, and maybe you didn't know this thing. Anyway, you never know what you're going to learn watching our cooking We're shows. We're about to add the curry. Mm -hmm. But I need a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ready? Okay, well, we're gonna add the curry. I don't have a measuring spoon with me right now, and, and I just don't feel like looking for one, so I'm gonna eyeball it, but it's about two tablespoons of curry powder. That's about right. Stir it up. Mm, that smells so good. It's probably like celery salt, actually. To me. First, before the chickpeas, because they take a little bit longer to soften, so we're gonna just add them in. These are golden potatoes, right? Yeah. Little baby golden potatoes, they're so cute. Extra coconut oil to our dish, and I had a little leftover on my hands, so never let it go to waste. Put it in your skin, it's so good for you. Mm. Then wash your hands because then they're dirty. Get a little too dry. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of water. Just a little. Just to give it a little, you know. Yeah. All right, now we're going to add the chickpeas. This is about two cans of organic chickpeas that I drain and rinse. Um, we can talk about how to do this the, the hard way, or you know, the better way, actually, by soaking them in another video. But these are just about two cans worth. So I'm going to put these in here. Stir it up. Add a little more curry. All right, so now I'm gonna add the cashews. I'm eating a couple, sorry. So you wanna basically add all your proteins and carbs first, and your, except for the onions, of course, and the sauteed base, and then all your veggies later because you don't want the veggies to be overcooked, right? Because you wanna get all the properties from them. So that's about mm, a couple ounces of roasted and sliced cashews. I prefer raw cashews, but this is okay too. That's what I love about this dish. It's so flexible. You can add just about anything in here. All right, so to make it more attractive, you can add a little paprika. Paprika really doesn't do much except for give it color, and it also kind of, it browns things a little bit more, so it's kind of handy. Black pepper. Never, ever, 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 ever forget the lemon juice. It's what makes this dish. Seriously, lemons make everything better. This is two lemons worth of juice. And I'm gonna get those seeds out because we don't want those in there. Yeah. It's simmering for about five minutes or so, and I, I'm gonna test the potatoes. It's almost salt, so that's perfect, so now we can add our red pepper. Sorry, I just got my germs in there. <laughs> All right, so I covered it for a little bit so it didn't dry out too much. I had a little bit of water too. And it's been sauteing for just a couple minutes and now we're ready for the greens. Always add these last, because otherwise they'll get brown and ugly and gross and we want them nice and fresh. And you want to add a lot, blanket the whole top. So that should, this should cover the entire dish because it's going to shrink up and shrivel and be small. So over, overestimate. <laughs> Under so pretty. This one. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. And so this concludes our video for the latest edition of our cooking show, a curry chickpea dish. That's interesting. Coming at you from Hollywood, California. Remember, you're going to pay the farmers or the hospitals. I recommend you pay the farmers so you don't have to pay the hospitals. What do you guys think? Uh, farmers? Farmers. The farmers, for sure. I already paid the hospitals. I'm done with that. Done with that. Okay, guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss all the awesomeness that comes out of our YouTube channels. And take care. See you later. Bye. Bon appetit. My last bite. Oh. Mm. It says charged on the right.